You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Excited to get to three Happy Meal sets that I've had for a while that I've just never been able to get on video. This is the 1988 Changeables. These are food. You can kind of see it here. Pretty cool. And then the 1990 McDino Changeables. And then on the far right was the 2001 Food Fundamentals. All kind of like food related characters. That's why I kind of held these off and I was missing one Happy Meal bag for the last set. So I finally got it. I'm ready to show you all three sets, but not in all one video. So let's do this. Let's come back. Let's start from the newest to the oldest. We'll save this one for last. It's got the most toys. It's got two boxes with it. So let's go with the 2001 Food Fundamentals. So you're probably asking yourself, what is a food fundamental? Well, let's find out. Now this bag, I don't know why I have this bag in here. It's from 2001, so probably around the same time as the food fundamentals. Actually, this says 1992, so maybe I had this one labeled wrong. So I probably labeled it off of this bag, 2001. I don't see a year on the toys just yet. Hmm, there's going to need to be a correction here. Mm, insert printed toy 1992 all right so let me grab my sharpie let's get these all out here so i had this labeled wrong based on that one bag this is the 1992 so we still are in order here this is the newest in regards to those types of toys all right so let's see what we have here we have the little steak guy he's called slugger we have Ruby the Tomato. We have Otis, what looks to be like a sandwich. This is Duncan. Oh, I wonder, yeah, 1992. So I have some interesting packaging going on here. This looks like it was actually opened. You know what? I might have shown this one in a video with Butch as we were going through toys. This is Slugger, and I probably was trying to finally piece everything together. Millie. And an extra slugger. Let's just see. Is this slugger in here? No, this is not. Sl yeah, this is slugger. All right. All right. Sorry for my disorganization. So one, two, three, four. And maybe this was, oh, this was the under three premium at the time. Okay. These are duplicates, but they're still sealed. So I will leave those. All right. This normally doesn't happen to me. But, you know, when you have such a massive collection... And so let's do this. Let's leave the toys. Okay, let's check out the two bags. This bag has nothing to do with this set. It just happened to be misappropriated in my collection. So let's put that out of the way. Well, while this is flat, maybe it's just easier to take a look at this side here. All right. Oh, those are the answers. Food fundamentals. Let's read about food fundamentals. These materials have been develop developed developed in cooperation with the American Dietetic Association. The toy in this bag has been safety tested for children age three and over. Not intended for children under three. Ask about special toys for kids under three. What should be that one? A corn guy. What's his name? Duncan. Okay, so the bag starts off here. It says, Rhyme Hungry. Otis has a fish on his dish. Can you spot six more pairs of things that rhyme in this picture? Find the numbered food that rhymes with each lettered object, then draw a line between them. Okay. So steak, steak, rick. Got it. Cheese, cheese, mm, skis. Ooh, I got that one. Bread, bread. Where's bread? There's honey. There's a horn, I guess that is cheese, corn, and no, oh, there's a rabbit. What rhymes with the rabbit? Carrot? Mm, do they call it, are they calling that a bird? What are they calling that? Okay, so we got some of them. This, I can't tell what this is. It looks like a spool of thread. Honey? Uh, find out what Otis is saying. Start with the first letter in each line and circle every other letter. Okay, so start off with the first letter, then circle every other one. You're going to have to figure that out. Match those up. I'm confused. Let's see. Sometimes there's stuff on the side panel. But this bag 
has nothing on the side panel. So now I can just show you this. All right. All right, let's see. Cottage cheese. Okay. Across the block. What's Millie's favorite snack? Follow the clues to move left, right, up, or down across the blocks below. You'll end up on the block with a picture of her favorite snack. Answer on bottom. Oh, there's the answers. I get it. Okay, banana. That's her favorite snack. So I did not follow. I did not pay attention, but you know what I'm saying. Here's the clues. Step left, step up. Step left, step down. Step right, step down. Step left. On the ball, Ruby loves to exercise by playing tennis. Help her round up all the tennis balls she hit. Find and circle 20 tennis balls on this bag. So they could be anywhere. Nope, none on this side. So they're all on this side. Okay, and there's the answer for this one here. What kind of fruit can put out a fire? Let's see. Water, melon, yuck, 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 yuck. Isn't that hilarious? All right, so there's the bag. Let's check out the toast. Okay, now I've opened this one, I'm pretty sure, with Butch on the video, and this guy was pretty fun looking. There's his feet. Ooh, he opens up. Inside is a little notepad. I remember the video, too. I had a bag of Happy Meal toys that we found in the shop, and we were just trying to go through them. Ooh, you can tuck his arms in, too, and put his legs in, and then you have the actual steak. Let's see, does this one go first or this one go first? I can't tell. I think this one goes first. Let's see if they give us little instructions. I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but there. So that's your steak. That's pretty fun. So like I said, the three sets that I wanted to show you are all... Oh boy, look at this. More stuff to do. Food fundamentals. Look inside for fun facts. Brought to you by McDonald's in cooperation with the American Dietetic Association. Okay, so we got a lot to look at here. I guess it goes this way. Pick up the pieces. Eating right is like putting together a puzzle. Each of the five food groups is a piece of the puzzle. But you need all the pieces to make it complete. By eating different foods from all five groups every day, you're sure to eat right morning, noon, and night. It all fits. Each puzzle piece shows part of a food group. To fit them together, pair each of the foods on the left with the food in the same group on the right, then draw a line between them. So, uh, noodles and bread? Bread and noodles. Hmm. Peanut butter and, and cheese. Grapes and strawberries. Milk and cheese. It really looks like peanut butter. Peanut butter in a chicken leg? What, am I seeing that right? Oh, here we go. It's obvious. Oh, muscle hustle. What you do with your body is just as important as what food you put in it. Getting some exercise every day can help make your muscles stronger. Then you'll be able to do the things you like longer because you get it. You don't won't get as tired. Mealtime rhymes. Each of these pictures can be described by a pair of words that rhyme with a meat or protein. Write in the pairs for each picture. Here's your example. P, beef, leaf. So he's got a beef. So egg, leg, fish, dish, potato. Oh, no. A B. Beef, leaf. Oh, bean. That's a bean. I thought that was a potato. A bean and a queen. All right. And then, let's see, wall-to-wall -wall crawl. Connect the dots to make a picture of something that crawls. Then see if you can inch along the same way. First, lie face down on the floor. Push off the floor with your legs behind you. Walk your feet up as close as you can to your hands. Then walk your hands forward and start again. Note, arms and legs should be kept straight at all times. Inchworm, maybe? Or a, uh, what, what you call those little things? Count the amount. Use the notepad inside slugger to help you count how many meat... And protein foods you eat each day. Okay, so that gives you that. And then ask your mom or dad to help you cut out pictures of food from a newspaper magazine. Sort the pictures into five piles, one for each of the five food groups. Then paste the foods in each pile on a separate piece of paper and write the food group name at the top. And then I started reading this one. I might as well finish it here. Use the notepad inside slugger. So that's what this is for. To help you count how many meat and protein foods you eat each day. 
Just mark the notepad each time you eat something in the protein group. And at the end of the day, count up the food so to see how you did. Remember, you need to two servings from this food group every day. Ask mom or dad if you need help. Well, there's a lot going on. Notes to mom and dad. Quite a bit there. And then this one says, healthy and strong slugger, building a healthy you. The five food groups are breads and cereals, fruits and veggies, milk, yogurt and cheese, meats and proteins. I kind of put fruits and veggies together. Strong words. Complete the crossword with each of these food found in the, in the meat and protein groups. Okay, so that's a bean again. So you would just put beans across. All right. That is toy one. It's pretty neat. He's got a baseball cap and a little M with his... Got a, an interesting looking moustache there. Let's just take that out again. It almost looks like... Oh, so the hat is the hinge. I thought maybe there was something else there. And here's his little muscle arms and his feet. And then he transforms. That's why all the toys that you're going to see in the next three groups are pretty much transforming toys. All right, so let's, let's keep that guy there. Let's grab another one. Okay. Oh, so the instructions are on the, on the front. Fold in arm B to open, lift open from bottom, fold out arms and legs. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next two, I'm wondering if the booklets are the same. We shall see uh, if the, well, the picture is the slugger. All right, let's check out Otis. What's Otis all about? Look inside for fun facts. So we're gonna get some repeat here in regards to the bag, but it tells you here, let's see. Step one, lift open from bottom. All right, let me get it out of the package and then I can officially check it out. Let's check out Otis. Oh yeah, Otis looks like a happy piece of bread with a cool hat. They all have hats. Okay, food fundamentals, let's see. Right, let's just do this. We'll fold this one open just to kind of see. All right, some, some sections are the same. And then we'll flip this like this. And we'll see if the puzzles are different. Okay, so there's different things to do basically on each card. So I probably will not go through every single one. It's a lot of information. We'll make for a very long video, but let's just see. All right, well, let's check him out first. Now we'll check that out. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. I'll show him all again at the end. Let's put that there. Otis, to open. Lift open from bottom, okay? There's his little notepad. And then step two, step two, fold in arm A. It's reversed. Let's get those feet out. He's got roller skates on. Arms out. Very cool. Check Otis out. Otis is looking mighty happy. Okay, so you have the key to energy. Meet Otis. He's part of the breads and cereals group, which includes lots of food besides breads and cereals. They're grouped together because they are all made from grains like wheat, corn, and oats like Otis. Grain foods give your body energy, which can help you run further or farther and jump higher. So try to eat at least six servings a day of foods like cereal, bread, spaghetti, tortillas, noodles, and rice. Now this is all old information, so it is probably different now. Notes to mom and dad, that's probably the same. Oh no, maybe not. Foods in the breads and cereals group should be the chief source of energy in your child's diet. All right. And then this side has snack facts. What sounds good to eat? Otis can't decide what to eat. Sign out each of the puzzles below to help spell grain foods that are good to eat. R plus ice, rice. Sand plus a witch is sandwich. Corn flakes. Pita, macaroni. Macaroni, oh, those are cool. Home plate, count them out. Use the notepad inside Otis to help you count how many grains. So this is kind of like the same thing as the other one. So most of that is Kind of what we've seen, home plate, count them out. We did that, Gorilla Go Go, Muscle Hustle. What you do with your body is just as important as what food you put in it. Getting some exercise every day can help make your muscles stronger. Then you'll be able to do things you like longer because you won't get as tired. 
Color in the picture of the gorilla, then see if you can walk like one. First stand with your feet apart, next bend at the waist and hold your ankles and keeping your hands around your ankles, walk around the room. Okay, I definitely cannot do that. All right. Very cool. Let's try to keep this organized. Let's bring in Ruby. If you saw a little change there, I had an interruption. So I had to stop. And then I come back and try to pick up where I left off. It gets difficult sometimes. Okay. Ruby to open. Lift open from bottom. Fold out legs and arms. Snap face closed. Oh, we know. oh there's her little notepad. Cool. Looks like she's got like a ping pong or a tennis ball or something with a racket. She's got a racket going on. Oh, her arm's turned. Okay. I noticed another one. I couldn't get the hand to turn, so maybe it does. All right, that one's pretty. I'll show you all the toys again. I just want to get through these little brochures. All right, so Ruby the apple is part of the fruits group. Some of the foods in this group and the vegetables group give your body the tools it needs to help your eyes stay healthy while others help cuts and bruises heal fast. The fruits and vegetables groups include lots of foods and you probably know, and some you may not, like kiwi fruit, mangoes, eggplant, and zucchini. By eating at least two servings a day of fruits and at least three servings a day of vegetables, you can help keep your body strong and well, building a healthy you. Food gives your body the nutrients or tools it needs to help you grow and stay strong and play strong or play long. Most foods fill into one of the five groups. Okay. Ooh. Snack facts. Do we look at that? Okay, we looked at that. Uh, we looked at that. We didn't look at that. Notes to mom and dad. That's the same. There's Ruby. Home plate. Count the amount. Okay, that's the same thing. So you're counting the amount you're using for this food group. Hop to it. A little uh, number there. Paint by number. Snack facts. As a kid, sometimes it's hard to get all the nutrients your busy body needs by eating three meals a day. So healthy snacks are an important way to help get everything you need every day. Eating right by the rainbow. Okay, so you're kind of eating fruits and vegetables in a rainbow of colors is a good way to make sure you're eating right. Color by number each of the fruits and vegetables by now. Okay, so this is more like a coloring one. Again, I'll put these all up in just a second. I want to get the last one out of the bag. This one is Millie. Millie the Milk. So these are all pretty easy to open. Not like some changing foods or Transformer-like toys. Okay, so same thing. There's Millie. They have really neat faces on them, I must say. There's Millie's little notepad. She's got a little exercise... Uh, Barbells or dumbbells, the hand ones, Millie's working out. They're very nicely made, clips together. She doesn't stand up though. Come on, Millie, there you go. There is Millie. All right, here we go, Millie. Let's learn about Millie. Bigger and better. Okay, so this is kind of repeat stuff. Meet Millie, she's part of the milk, yogurt, and cheese group. This group includes milk and all different kinds of foods made with milk. Like pudding and frozen yogurt. Uh, me move over. Some foods are made with things from more than one food group, like macaroni and cheese. It's made with macaroni from the breads and cereals group, plus cheese from milk, yogurt, and cheese group. Color in the milk, yogurt, or cheese part of these three foods. Okay. Oh, this one's got a little maze. Some word... Filling in there. This time you're going to act like go barefoot. Get it? Barefoot. And the home plate, again, counting. This has a little recipe. But I didn't notice it. Maybe there was a recipe on the other ones. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. No. No recipe there on that one. We'll pull them all out again. All right. That one's pretty cool. Gotta love that one. Let's check out this corn guy. This is the under three, and then I'll bring them all back for you to check out. There's no booklet in this one. Okay, look at him. Woo. Now, why is he an under three toy? Because there's no moving parts or anything. It's a solid, hard plastic toy, Mr. Corn Guy. All right, let me do this. Let me put all the brochures down. Let me give you a quick look at those. Let me get these toys out of the way. I'll get them all back in order, but I wanted to give one quick glance at everything one more time. 
Okay, being in the packs for so many years, that's how they fold it up. There's two. There's three. So yeah, they're all a little bit different, uh, as you can tell. Like this one says snack facts, this one did not say snack facts, this says snack facts, and this one does not. So there's the four booklets. There's my four characters, okay. Those are cool, colorful and bright. All right, do do do. And then let's get the little characters out with their different little notepads. And then I'll give you a nice presentation on all of those. She has like one foot up and one foot down. Okay, there we go. I don't know, I'm really digging Slugger. Okay, I'm missing a notepad. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's take a closer look at these toys now. I have to say, probably one of the coolest looking group of Happy Meal toys. Would you agree? Let's do this, let's give them a little spin. They have really cool faces and details. Look, he's got little freckles, probably sesame seeds or something on his bread. The hats. So I'll show them to you this way and then I will put them all back to their original state. Okay, there we go. Whoa, whoa, get back in there. All right, let's just retransform them. Again, uh, was this one feet first? No, so this was in, this was in, that was in, and then this kind of like folds over to that. So you have your apple. I don't think there's one right way yet. See, it's gotta be the feet last. I don't think it really matters. It closes either way. Oh, this one's not closing. All right, feet first on this one. Yeah, see, then that hand pops up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that one the best. Okay, so there is them all. There's them all closed up. Let's just see if the makes a difference on these with the feet first. Kind of went against the green here. Okay, yeah, it can go either way. That one I put the feet in, then not the feet in, so I don't think it's a big of an issue because there's so much room in the openings of these. And I forgot when I opened them. There were interruptions to my video, so it makes it a challenge to remember everything. A lot of the interruptions you don't know are happening. Okay. So what do you think? Do you have a fave? Oh, let me know. That is from what year? 1992. Food Fundamentals. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me get a nice close shot. This will be my thumbnail. Too bad he doesn't stand up, but we'll leave him like that. And all their little notepads. Pretty neat little set. What do you think? Have you seen it before? Have you ever uh, owned any of these? Maybe you saw them at a garage sale like, what is this one? Now you know. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. Well, I wasn't finished. As I was packing this up, I said to myself, I didn't actually open up these little notepads. The one side is the printed side. The other side is plain. But I wanted to make sure you at least got a chance to see them. I thought they were pretty cool additions to this Happy Meal toy line. All right. Thanks for watching again. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.